The sudden collapse of a burning building can kill, and firefighters are most at risk. KXLY Force Cherston Ramsing is live at the Coeur d'Alene Fire Department training facility. And Cherston, is this where firefighters prepare for the worst? They always prepare for the worst. So right now, Bobby is our lead firefighter. In this scenario, he uh, has discovered Brian, who is underneath a mattress. This is very familiar to firefighters. Often in a fire, children get very scared. They get disoriented. And so they often hide under tables. They hide under beds. And this makes it difficult for firefighters to find them, especially when it is very smoky. It's very disoriented. And so firefighters say, number one, you've got to get out as quickly as you can. And having a plan, Bobby, is so important. Talk to me about what parents can do with their children this weekend. They can make a home, ex uh, home escape plan and practice it and teach the children two ways out of their house and out of their room and stay calm, get low. And if a, if a firefighter happens to come in to get them, don't run from them. Come to us. Okay, so children are often scared in a fire, a building collapse. What about the firefighters? Do you guys ever get scared? We do at times, but we train not to. And looking in here, what is the most common misconception for somebody to do? They get disoriented. They can't see. They're starting to cough. Number one, what do they do? They hide. They go to their safe spot, which is either going to be under the bed or into a closet and they get disoriented, they think they're going out, but actually they're going deeper into the structure or get into a closet and get disoriented. So you guys will help them if it is safe. So Mike and Kalai, parents this weekend, work on a plan with your children and we'll have more tips for you in about a half an hour. Back to you.